What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video. So in the last one, we actually got my end game weapon. So the only thing I need to do now is level up some of my uh, perks that I need to actually modify my, you know, said weapon. Which is, it's this one right here. Um, let me show you. It's right here, this one. The Righteous Authority. Critical shots do double damage and critical meter fills 15% faster. I want to modify this as a uh, as an automatic rifle. Because uh, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for an automatic rifle, laser rifle specifically. Uh, build with VATS, obviously, so luck is very important for me. But, yeah, so as far as quests go, we're definitely going to be going towards the Commonwealth now. Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, Jewel of the Commonwealth, we're going to be doing the Jewel of the Commonwealth, which is going to Diamond City. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and bounce up out of here and deal with this super long, uh, uh, I guess you could say, uh, loading screen. I don't know why the loading screens take so long, man. Uh, I've been saying this from early on in the gameplay that I kind of want to install some mods to alleviate some of that stress. Uh, where like the loading screens just take forever But at the same time, I do like the whole concept of playing uh, I mean you can say vanilla, but Basically no outside of Bethesda approved mods and I say that because of the whole creation club stuff Obviously, I do have a ton of creation club stuff uh, installed on my game so There's that also, I kind of want to do some of those Creation Club missions just to alleviate a little bit of the uh, the quests that I have on my Pit Boy available. So there's also that. Open the door, please. Thank you. But yeah, so we finally got through there. How far is it, anyways? Uh, map. Um, it's kind of far, realistically. So let's go. I mean, I say it's kind of far, but I mean, realistically, it's really not that far. Let's go try to go around to avoid some of the... Ah, fuck it. You know what? I don't care. Oh my god. Can I get over there, please? Thank you. Hiya! I'm a freaking cowboy, dude. Get on my level. For Eternal Post 115. Is this a post office? Oh no, this is like a university frat house. Dog me, you just scared the shit out of me, bro. I really thought you were like some other thing that wanted to eat me. Dog meat. I don't care. Come on, dog meat. I don't care what you found. You find too much stuff. Alright, let's discover this spot right here really quick. And then we'll turn around and start actually... Heading in that direction. Oh, look, it's a guy in power armor right there. There's another guy right there, but he's not. Two guys right there. That guy's not in power armor, though. Alright, I'm not interested in fighting them, though. And I don't think there's anything too spectacular at this place. So I'm gonna just skip it in general right now. Because I will. Yeah, I'm about to say, I will be discovering it. However, I will say this. Get out of my way, dog, before your ass pushes me off this damn bridge. There is a spot right there that I want to go to. It's actually a settlement. Oh my god, dude, I just realized this. I have 53 rounds. Do I have any grenades? I have a fat man. I have Molotovs. Wait, how much, uh... I have a lot of laser ammo. Go! I was about to say, did I hit him? I did. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this. Bam! Just like that. Dog meat. Sick him. Alright, come on, baby. Where are you guys at? Oh! Where are you at? Goodbye. Oh god, I should not have re... 
There we go, you're dead. Thank God for vats, huh? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was so stupid. I literally just killed myself. <laughs> Alright, let's avoid doing that. This next time around. Gotta bear with this uh, super long loading screen again. Like, I kind of want to edit out these loading screens, but the problem with that is that if I was to go around and edit out all the loading screens of all the videos I make, it'll literally take a while. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of harder for me to edit them out because of the number of videos I make. You know what I mean? I make three videos a day, Monday through Friday, and that's a lot, man. All right, well, we're just going to run straight there, basically. Because I do want to take over that settlement. While we're at it, might as well equip the Molotovs. There we go. Come on, dog meat. We got to discover the Fraternal Post 115. Stop getting in my way, dog meat. Holy shit, dude. And then while I'm in this area, I'm definitely going to uh, discover this place on the left like I did last time. I need more AP. That much is for sure. And then I'll be heading all the way over there. I'm probably going to quick save though before I actually go and uh, start fighting the people at that settlement, the raiders, because... If I die, I don't want to uh, have to go through all of this portion again. So, let's go. We're almost there. That's a good thing. Dog me, get out of my freaking way, dude. Why does he have to be directly in front of me? Like, run to the side of me, jackass. God, I love you, dog me, but... There's no denying you're kind of annoying. Alright, we're definitely here. Alright. Let's go into sneak. Quick save. Damn it, too far. Too low. Uh, but it still got him, so I'm I'm fine. Come on, baby. Hopefully Dogmeat's ridiculous ass doesn't get stuck behind the door again. Right there, should be fine. Sweet. Like a glyph. Oh god. Go get him, Dogmeat. Did I kill both of them? I did. Oh! And just like that, this place is mine. I'll be taking all your ammo though. Don't need any of that. I'll take the leather, actually. I have a plan for all the leather stuff. Leather chest piece, don't mind if I do. Leather, leather. Alright, I'll be taking all of that. I'm looking to get five complete sets of leather, regular leather armor. Alright, we're good here. So this is now my spot. Let's go freaking help out these guys. Let's go. And we actually did it without using all of our ammo. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, 
What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that was a complete disaster. Why are they so strong? They killed me in like a half a second. I managed to like shoot off like two rounds and then kapalow, I got destroyed. Alright, let's try this again. Oh man, I gotta do this again, don't I? Alright, it should be a little easier at least. Alright. We gotta make sure we freaking quick save, dude, before we go take care of those super mutants. There we go. Nice. Goodbye. Oh shit. Go handle it, dog meat. All right. Oh god. Stim pack time. And dead time. There we go. Alright, let's get all of this leather stuff again. I'll take that, that, that. All of this. Alright. Wasn't there one guy up here? What happened to this guy? I'm not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and... Claim this workshop. Come this way. And right before we get into contact with these guys, we're definitely going to quick save. Because these guys are pretty tough, actually. Do I have a grenade? All right. And we'll quick save right here. Oh shit. I missed. Oh my god. Why aren't those getting them? There we go. Well, that's not a that's not a good thing. First things first, let's take a couple of these. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll fix. I'll fill up my my health. Do I have a sniper? I do have this. All right, we have to run in. Luckily, I quick saved just in case. Oh my god. This thing's recoil is insane. I gotta take some stim packs again. That was insane. That was, that's better. Oh. Oh god. Die! Hell yeah. We're doing cool. We're doing more than great. We're doing fantastic right now. Which only means we're gonna die shortly. I'll be taking those. Where is he? How do I get to him? Um, I guess I didn't have to. Tactical what? This thing is insane. I'll be taking that, and I'm probably going to scrap my other one. Well, this guy died. I'll be taking his shit, though. Uh, umpire pads. Guard. 
Um, armor. Helmet. And athletic. Was it supposed to be that many stuff? Helmet. Left arm, right arm. Pads. Oh, I guess it is. It just doesn't have, like, leg armor. Talk to me. Ahem. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Thank you. And no, I'm not. Although those guys were pretty tough. I'll, I'll be it, man. They were pretty ridiculous. So we're finally here at Diamond City, it looks like. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <laughs> it looks like they just did that. Damn it, Danny. Open up. Is that it? You. You want into Diamond City, right? Duh. Uh, yeah. Wait, who are you? What? Who are you? What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? <laughs> Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Does she not know? Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Does she not know about the Quincy Massacre? Alright, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Absolutely. Alright. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Well then. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Um. I mean, I support the news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Uh, what are you two arguing about anyways? What are you two arguing about anyway? <laughs> what do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> That's true. No. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm looking for someone. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, then, if that's the case, who can help me? I hope this passes. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't Aww, have man. time for any more questions. <laughs> I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. 
I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> She's mm, pushy. A big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Yes. <laughs> Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. We can go now. Well, this guy looks awfully familiar. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> I'll follow you, Piper. Let's go. What the fuck? <laughs> she just disappeared. And reappeared. What the shit is going on right now? Piper, are you a synth? Alright, well, doesn't look like you're moving, so let's go. She has magical powers to disappear and reappear, though, apparently. Ooh. Just like that. She's gone. And then, poof. Just like that. She's back. Piper is seriously... A pretty cool character man I like her story arc as far as like like my boo goes I like Kiri dude not not robot Kiri synth Kiri let me take a quick stim pack no actually I only have 22 I'd rather find a bed Piper you're here the red death that's actually a pretty cool freaking picture all right let's go come on Piper let's go take your little interview Oh, look, there goes Madonna. Right, that's him. Yep. Weird ass, man. Any minute now, Piper. Trying to get to your freaking office. Can... Can Piper tell me where to go? Piper, you're back. Not sure. What are you doing? <laughs> are you going to say anything? Um. Hello? What in the world is going on right now? Should I just back out? That's exactly what I'm doing. Let's go. Alright. Well, something's wrong with her. Diamond City Market. Let's see, where can we go? Also, what time is it? Fusion cells, I could definitely use those. Oh, they fixed themselves. Is something wrong? Piper. All right, hurry up and go into your office so I can take your stupid little interview. It's about time. Let's go. You go that way, I'll go this way. Can I use your bed, Piper? Could definitely use one. On the institute, the public needs to know. You followed me in here for that? Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. Um. I believe you. Okay. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. <laughs> so what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Um, looking for my son. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? My son, unfortunately. I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. <laughs> you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute Someone can help, right? 
You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there's yes. the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thank you. So who's this Nick Valentine? What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Oh, that's so fucking true. That's why the, that's why the whole saying "nice guys finish last" is a thing. All right, but anyways, thank you, man. You're 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 amazing. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Sure, why not? Piper, Piper, let's take your little interview. Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I like that she noticed that. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Uh, sure, let's do it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, I mean, we were frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? He says that he didn't spend much time in the vault, but technically he spent 210 years in the vault. He just wasn't awake for any of it. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Um... <laughs> Fun destroying things. <laughs> uh, it gives me hope. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? It definitely sounds like they are. Especially after what your your sister told me. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Um, get revenge? <laughs> one day at a time? That's a good possibility. Uh, people ignore kidnappings? Uh, people ignore kidnappings? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. You just give up. That's ridiculous. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? Uh, don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. That's sad. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I think it will, too. I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. I'm going to recruit you. Piper. Head my way. Just so that I can sure. send you away. Let's go. Will do. Let's go. We're sorry, boy. Hold on. Wait, what's going on? Um, alright, let's hey, try this Piper. again. Head my way. 
Yes. Sure. Let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. All right. We'll send him to sanctuary, but we'll back out. Hey. There we go. Let's go. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Let's send Piper. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll send Piper to Sanctuary. Alright. But now we know because of Nat. Get out of my way, dog meat. Oh my god, dude. That we need to go talk to a guy named Nick Valentine. I'm sure this a lovely human being <laughs> would tell me where my son is or at least how we could find him but it definitely sounds like this institute has something to do with the disappearance of my child Uncle, what have you done with the real riley where's my brother i swear i'm not a synth don't shoot for god's sakes we're family Put the gun down now. He's a Sith. He'll kill us all. Kyle, oh my God! No! Okay. They destroyed him. There are no hey. Sith in Diamond City. Hear me? He pulled a gun off. Your damn paranoia. My own brother. What happened? What happened? I'm I'm not a Sith. I I told him. I I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh. I need him in. Uh, I don't blame you, man. Keep your head up, bro. Sorry. Sorry this happened. But I'm going to be looting your brother. <laughs> Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. Uh, what happened? I understand, Officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the yes. shouting? Yes! Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's everyone still standing Alrighty then. That's crazy. <clears throat> hey, you're the new guy, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. It's kind of funny, though, because my uh, younger brother's name is Arturo. Uh, you know weapons? So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. So he says he knows guns, and yet he calls them clip sizes when they're magazines. Clips are things that literally clip onto ammunition. You typically see them on older weapons. Magazines are the detachable things that that go in and out of you know weapons. So, so much for you knowing about guns, bro. Sure, let's take a look. Self defense at its best. Let's see what this guy has. Um, so two millimeter electronic, uh. Oh, okay. Elo electromagnetic cartridges, argent plasma, big boy. This gun's gonna take me a while to get. Uh, I know he has a laser rifle that he sells. Fusion cells. I might buy those to be honest, because I want to stack up as much as possible. Incendiary handmade. Where is it? He sells backpacks to Old Faithful. There it is. Double damage of the target is full health. It's not very good for a... This is not very good for a laser rifle, in my opinion. Laser rifles don't do a ton of upfront damage. But it's not It's not terrible, I guess. All right, protectors. Reduce damage by super mutants. Reduces damage by humans. Looks like that's everything that he has that's interesting. But yeah, alright. Uh, detective. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? 
That's a fairy tale. Man. Railroad. Yes. Now, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the freedom trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, that's a mission. You're full of it. And that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. <laughs> oh, shit. Does that take me to the railroad? Uh, I think it might. Let's go talk to Valentine. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. What's going on here? His tie. Something wrong? Ellie Perkins. A strain coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Uh, but it's important. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. Woohoo! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just the detective. He's gone missing. Oh no. Uh, is there any clues? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. The Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Um, who is this Skinny Malone? Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Good Neighbor? You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Oh, we got a map update, so I guess we got Good Neighbor on our map now. Uh, can I do anything to help you? I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Alright. Sounds like a plan. How far is it from here? Map. Oh, that's good, neighbor. It's kind of far, so we're probably gonna have to wait for that a little bit. For now, let's go ahead and level up. Actually, actually, we should hold off on that only because. Oh wait, hold on. Yes. Rob Kofun, you've collected an issue of Rob Kofun. Includes the Zeta Invaders Hollow Tape. I'll definitely be taking that. Thank you. Unlikely Valentine, find Nick Valentine. Will do. The Mysterious Stranger, read. Case: The Mysterious Stranger. Sightings of a man dubbed the mysterious stranger have been popping up sporadically across the US for years now best case the man's an amoral lunatic worst case uh, a prophetic prolific serial killer all anyone knows uh, is his MO appearing suddenly killing without remorse disappearing without a word the stranger has no known accomplishments, no clear method for selecting his targets, no calling cards left behind. Sightings range from the NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Dun dun dun. Last thing his place, last place, last thing this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Time to start putting together the pieces to put this one away. Description, a male. Outfits vary, but most recent sighting, uh, sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guy has taste, I'll give him that uh, much. One man, multiple men, a ghoul with minimal scarring. Might explain the long passages of time between sightings. Appears and disappears suddenly. Uh, suggest pr uh, pre Natural infiltration uh, abilities, access to advanced cloaking tech, but all the earliest descriptions suggest the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Uh, perks like this make me wish the institute had sprung for thermal detection more uh, before giving me the boot. Uh, sighting locations, Commonwealth confirmed. Capital Wasteland confirmed. 
NCR old rumors, Shady Sands, really old rumors. Wow, they're ta they took this all the way back to Fallout 1 in Shady Sands. NCR, Fallout New Vegas, Capital Wasteland, Fallout 3, and of course, Commonwealth, Fallout 4. That's, that's pretty awesome. We'll take that. Oh, everything's tagged for owned. Can I even sleep on the bed? No. Damn it, I can't steal your shit, Ellie. Make me sick. Now I'm not gonna help Nick. I'm lying, yes I am. Let's see if we can talk to any of these other merchants. See what they got to sell. So far we've talked to Arturo. And... He's a fake gun enthusiast. Any day now, game. There we go. I kind of want to do that freedom trail. What's between old dwellers and old dogs? Shut up. You, you, you need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Um... Swatter? What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and, and play a game called baseball. That's true. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. <laughs> and, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Uh, you're close. Halfway through, you were on point, and then I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, that's not baseball, dude. Look, dumbass. That's not how <laughs> baseball is played. Yeah, right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? Um, actual rules. There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. I like my version better. Now, <laughs> can I interest you? In these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters. Um, looking for work. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball catcher's mitt. And playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? So, coach? I'm not even going to get to it. That's such a ridiculous name. Quitting is for punks? Are you serious? All right, yeah, sure. I'll do your mission. The ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Wait, really quick, hey, what no. do you have for sale? This ain't just any old pieces of wood. A swatter is a custom piece of hickory. What do you have for Let's sale? see what you got. Handmade, each one. Alright, uh, barbed blue swatter, baseball uniform, mahogany, the Rockville slugger, 40% less action points. It's not bad, actually. Oh, uh, that's all you got. All right. Sounds good. Well, we know he has a few legendaries. What has she got? Hey there. Oh, this you? crazy Myrna. I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Um. Why? Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. I'm not so a synth. are you human? I'm human, all right. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Uh, what do you sell? What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. All right, so what do you have I've to sell? a few minutes to browse. Here's what we got. 
Uh, so looks like all these vendors are selling Argent Plasma, so that's good whenever I get that one weapon. Um, Captain Cosmo's toy box? Nah, no, she doesn't sell anything. Not even fusion. Oh, actually, she does sell fusion cells. Let's go ahead and take all of these. She has a laser pistol, but I don't really need a laser pistol right now. Um. Yeah, she's got nothing. She's got a bunch of shipments of junk, which would come in handy later. Wastelander's chest piece. Plus one agility and perception. That's not too bad. All right. Confirm trade. Yes. Let's go. Um, there was something I wanted to modify. Oh, yeah, my weapon. Craft. Where's my righteous authority? Can I do automatic? Well, what do I need for an automatic? Oh, no, that's the barrel. The barrel. I need science plus two. All right. Let's get started on that, shall we? Oh no. Oh no! Crap. So I'm gonna have to level this up eventually. Can I at bare minimum do the first automatic barrel? Where is it, right there? Uh, I need science one crap. I'm gonna have to buy mods then Let's see if our turtle sells mods Got some great stuff if you're interested. Yes, let's see what you have everything hand tool Um Any mods No Does didn't I forget to buy the fusion cells? I did. That's good. Alright. So there's no more fusion cells. I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to modify my rifle. Anytime soon. What I can do... Is eventually find an automatic laser rifle. With the improved automatic barrel. And... Frankly speaking, just... um. Take off the mod. Uh, let's go with... Fifteen percent chance to restore all... Uh, I'll just do... Hold on. Let's look at everything else. So 14 liter. I mean, I could always put it into Rifleman. And I'll be able to use it now, I suppose. Oh, I'm stuck between a hard place and a rock. Alright, I'm going to put it into... Fuck it, it's going into Rifleman. I'm eventually going to... I'm eventually going to put it into uh, automatic, and I'm eventually going to convert it. But for now, I want to use this rifle. Can I make a reflex sight? Um, sights. Science one. Fuck me. So it looks like I'm stuck when it comes to that. Uh, Alright. Well, we're basically going to have to call it a video right here, right now. We have about 10 minutes to go or so before we get to that one hour mark. So we're definitely going to leave it here. In the next video, we're going to do either going to go help uh, uh, Valentine 
or we're probably going to do the freedom trail. I'm not sure which one I want to do first, to be honest. So whichever one I decide to do, that's what we're going to roll with. If you guys want to see one or the other, definitely let me know down in the comments. But if not, I will definitely just pick one of the two. I know I want to do both, so it's eventually going to get done regardless. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Thank you.